tenses, auxiliary verbs, questions. Tenses We use tenses to describe when and how actions happen. The verb form changes for different tenses. Present tenses She lives in London. I earn a hundred dollars a day. I'm saving money for my education. They're studying in a language school. Past tense. They moved to Canada 30 years ago. I had a bad accident last month. Future forms. I'm going to study for a master's degree. I'm going back to Toronto next September. What are you doing tonight? Auxiliary verbs. The present continuous uses the auxiliary verb to be in all forms. Positive. I am living in New York. She is reading. They are watching a film. Negative. I'm not sleeping. He isn't learning French. They aren't working at the moment. Question. Is she reading? What are they watching? Why are you learning English? No auxiliary verb. In the present simple and the past simple, there is no auxiliary verb in the positive. Positive. They live in Australia. He arrived yesterday. We use the correct form of the auxiliary verb do in negatives and questions. Negative. I don't work in New York. He doesn't have any children. We didn't watch TV. Question. What does she do? Do they live in London? Where did Bill go? Questions. Yes, no questions have no question word. Are you hot? Yes, I am. Or? No, I'm not. Does he speak English? Yes, he does. Or? No, he doesn't. Questions can also begin with a question word. What? Where? Which? How? Who? When? Why? Whose? What is she doing at the moment? Where's the station? Which is your car? How does she go to work? Who is she married to? When did she come to England? Why are you laughing? Whose coat is this? We can use a noun after what, which and whose. What size do you take? Which coat is yours? Whose book is this? We generally use which when there is a limited choice. 
But this rule is not always true. Which is your pen? What or which newspaper do you read? We can use an adjective or an adverb after how. How big is his new car? How old are you? How fast does it go? How often do you have English classes? We can also use much or many after how. How much is this sandwich? How much money did they borrow from the bank? How many brothers and sisters have you got? How many children does she have? I save seven hours that most people waste every single day. I save seven hours that most people waste every single day. I'm crying because I saved a lot of money for that bike, and I'm crying because I saved a lot of money for that bike, and I'm. And I'm going to save your Second Amendment. And I'm going to save your Second Amendment. I'm from Montreal, like I'm living in Montreal. I'm from Montreal, like I'm living in Montreal. He can say, I know what I was once, but I'm not living there anymore. He can say, I know what I was once, but I'm not living there anymore. Examples, are you living your life the way that you should be living it? Examples, are you living your life the way that you should be living it? What is a plausible strategy to affect change? What is a plausible strategy to affect change? Where is a place where I'm going to feel part of something? Where is a place where I'm going to feel part of something? Like, which, of, which is your favorite baby, basically? Like, which, of, which is your favorite baby, basically? How does she afford a driver? Must be nice. How does she afford a driver? Must be nice. Was this Tiffany ANY a real person and when did she live? Was this Tiffany ANY a real person and when did she live? My question for y'all game and you're like, why are you sharing this video game with me? My question for y'all game and you're like, why are you sharing this video game with me? Present simple and present continuous. Have got and have. Present simple. Form. Positive and negative. I live near here. We don't live near here. He lives near here. She doesn't live near here. Use. The present simple expresses a habit. I get up at 7.30. Joe smokes too much. The present simple also expresses a fact which is always true, or a fact which is true for a long time. Vegetarians don't eat meat. She works in a bank. Here are some more examples. Ruth lives alone in Bristol. He doesn't have any children. Question. Where do you live? Where do they live? Where does he live? Short answer. Do you like Peter? Yes, I do. Does he speak French? No, he doesn't. Here are some more examples. Where does Ruth work? Whose recipe does Fraser use? How much do they earn? Present continuous. Form. 
We form the present continuous with am, is, or are in the positive or negative and the ing form of the verb. Positive and negative. I'm working. I'm not working. He's working. She isn't working. You're working. We aren't working. Use. The present continuous expresses an activity happening now or around now, but perhaps not at the moment of speaking. They're playing football in the garden. I'm reading a good book at the moment. The present continuous also expresses a planned future arrangement. I'm seeing the doctor at 10 o'clock tomorrow. What are you doing this evening? Here are some more examples. She is currently making a new single. I'm having a lot of fun. The business is growing fast. We're trying to get into the American market. Question. What am I wearing? What is she wearing? What are they wearing? Short answer. Are you going? Yes, I am. Or? No, I'm not. Is Anna working? Yes, she is. Or? No, she isn't. Here are some more examples. What is she doing at the moment? Where are you living at the moment? What are they talking about? Present simple and present continuous. We use the present simple, not the present continuous, for facts and habits. Fraser comes from Scotland. We use the present continuous, not the present simple, for activities happening now or around now. I'm reading a good book at the moment. Some verbs express a state, not an activity. We usually use them in the present simple only. For example, like, love, think, agree, understand. She likes the Rolling Stones. Here are some more examples. He makes a lot of money. She's making another single. He has his own company. She's having a good time. Have got and have. Form. Positive. I have two sisters. You've got two sisters. He has two sisters. She's got two sisters. We can use contractions with have got, but not with have. I've got a sister. I have a sister. Here are some more examples. I've got a son and a grandson. He has his own company. They've got so much energy and enthusiasm. Negative. 
I don't have any money. You haven't got any money. He doesn't have any money. She hasn't got any money. Here are some more examples. He hasn't got any children. They don't have a car. We haven't got a laptop. She doesn't have blonde hair. Question. Do you have a new car? Does he have a new car? Have they got a new car? Has she got a new car? Short answer. Do you have an iPhone? Yes, I do. Or? No, I don't. Have you got an iPhone? Yes, I have. Or? No, I haven't. Here are some more examples. Have you got a girlfriend? Do you have a lot of homework? Have you got the time? Past. In the past tense, we use had with did and didn't. I had a bicycle when I was young. Here are some more examples. I had a great time at the party. I didn't have any money when I was a student. Did you have a nice weekend? Use. Have and have got mean the same. They both express possession. I have a new car. I've got a new car. Have got is more informal than have. Have you got the time? The UK has a population of 60 million. We can use have but not have got to express an activity or habit. I have a shower every day. What time do you have lunch? So let comes she comes marching up to me and she goes, "Honey, I got to ask you something." So let comes she comes marching up to me and she goes, "Honey, I got to ask you something." And yes. She doesn't judge anything she comes up with. And yes. She doesn't judge anything she comes up with. What does she want and how is she going to get it? He is working. What does she want and how is she going to get it? Uh, he is working hard. Hard. Every single day. Uh, he is working hard. Hard. Every single day. He's like, why isn't he singing live? He's like, why isn't he singing live? Renoir painting a portrait or is he painting a figure painting, a genre painting? Renoir painting a portrait or is he painting a figure painting a genre painting so i have got seven top tips that are so i have got seven top tips that are good because i haven't got any satellite videos because i haven't got any satellite videos have you got a question that you would like asked then please submit it in the comments below or you can hashtag keep asking one. have you got a question that you would like asked then please submit it in the comments below or you can hashtag keep asking one. Simple past and past continuous. Prepositions in the time expressions. Past simple. Form. The form is the same for all persons. Positive. I arrived yesterday. He arrived yesterday. They arrived yesterday. Use. The past simple expresses a completed past action. We played tennis last Sunday. 
John left two minutes ago. Here are some more examples. He walked 6,000 miles. We arrived in Maruda in 2010. He began his journey in 2008. I had a shower last night. Negative. We use didn't plus the infinitive without to for all persons. I didn't arrive yesterday. She didn't arrive yesterday. We didn't arrive yesterday. Note that didn't is short for did not. Here are some more examples. When I saw the snake, I didn't move. We didn't have permission to be on their land. Ed didn't do the trip alone. They didn't understand Ed. Question. We use did plus subject plus the infinitive without to for all persons. When did I arrive? When did he arrive? When did you arrive? Short answer. We use did or didn't in short answers. Did they finish the journey? Yes, they did. Did he do the trip alone? No, he didn't. Here are some more examples. When did the journey begin? Why did you do it? Did you go to work yesterday? Yes, I did. Did it rain last night? No, it didn't. Spelling of regular verbs. The normal rule is to add ed or d. Walk. Walked. End. Ended. Arrive. Arrived. Decide. Decided. Some short verbs with only one syllable double the consonant and add ed. Stop. Stopped. Plan. Planned. Verbs that end in a consonant and y change to ied. Carry. Carried. Study. Studied. Irregular verbs. To be is irregular and has two forms in the past. Be, was, or were. Other irregular verbs have only one form in the past. Go, went, leave, left, take, took. Past continuous. Form. We form the past continuous with was or were in the positive or negative and the ing form of the verb. Positive and negative. I was working. He wasn't working. You were working. They weren't working. 
use. The past continuous expresses a past activity that has duration. I had a good time while I was living in Paris. The activity was in progress before and probably after a time in the past. At eight o'clock last night, we were watching TV. Here are some more examples. We were walking in a dangerous part of the forest. I was lying in my hammock last night. He wasn't driving very fast. I wasn't waiting for very long. Question. What was she doing? What were you doing? Short answer. Were you working yesterday? Yes, I was. Or? No, I wasn't. Were you having a party last night? Yes, we were. Or? No, we weren't. Here are some more examples. What was Cho doing when he met Ed? Where were they walking when they saw the tribe? What were you doing at eight o'clock last night? Were you having a shower? Yes, I was. Were they making a lot of noise? No, they weren't. Past simple and past continuous. The past simple expresses a completed action. The past continuous expresses an activity in progress. I washed my hair last night. I was washing my hair when you phoned. A past simple action can interrupt a past continuous activity. When I phoned Simon, he was having a shower. I was doing my homework when Jane arrived. In stories, the past continuous describes the scene and the past simple tells the action. The sun was shining and the birds were singing. We decided to go for a walk. Here are some more examples. We were walking close to the river when I nearly stood on a snake. They were crossing the river when they saw five canoes. I was lying in my hammock. Monkeys were screaming in the trees. I took a sleeping pill and fell asleep. Prepositions in time expressions. We use time expressions to say when something happens. We often use prepositions with time expressions. At. At six o'clock. At midnight. At Christmas. At the weekend. In. In 2007. In the morning. In the afternoon. In the evening. In summer. In two weeks' time. On. On Saturday. On Monday morning. On Christmas Day. On January the 18th. Some time expressions have no preposition. Tonight.
night. Two weeks ago. Last month. Yesterday evening. This afternoon. Tomorrow morning. Here are some more examples. The journey finished in August 2010. I was lying in my hammock last night. I fell asleep at 3 a.m. My birthday is on June the 5th. She left university two years ago. Earthra, but the most incredible thing they saw was their home planet. Earthra, but the most incredible thing they saw was their home planet. And then they didn't see it coming, and they didn't have a choice. And then they didn't see it coming, and they didn't have a choice. And did you see all the soldiers from our company? Do they all have boots on their feet? And did you see all the soldiers from our company? Do they all have boots on their feet? Some people had happened while they were walking down the street. Some people had happened while they were walking down the street. Of this doing this, they weren't walking around to the shelves and pulling something up. Of this doing this, they weren't walking around to the shelves and pulling something up. But also, what kind of behavior were they running or were they walking? But also, what kind of behavior were they running or were they walking? Expressions of quantity. Articles A and and the. Expressions of quantity. Countable and uncountable nouns. It is important to understand the difference between countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns. A cup. A girl. An apple. An egg. Uncountable nouns. Water. Sugar. Milk. Music. We can count nouns that are countable. Three cups. Two girls. They can be singular or plural. This cup is full. These cups are empty. Uncountable nouns can only be singular. We can't count them. The water is cold. The weather was terrible. Much and many. We use much with uncountable nouns in questions and negatives. How much money have you got? There isn't much milk left. We use many with countable nouns in questions and negatives. How many people were at the party? I didn't take many photos on holiday. Here are some more examples. How much fish do you eat? Do you eat many vegetables? How many calories do you have every day? Do you eat much fruit? Some and any. We use some in positive sentences. I'd like some sugar. We use any in questions and negatives. Is there any sugar in this tea? I didn't buy any apples. We use some in questions that are requests or offers. Can I have some cake? Would you like some tea? The rules are the same for someone, anything, anybody. I've got something for you. Hello? Is there anybody here? There isn't anywhere to go in my town. A few and a little. We use a few 
with countable nouns. There are a few biscuits left. We use a little with uncountable nouns. I only have a little time. Here are some more examples. Sometimes we steam a few carrots. Sometimes we cook a little broccoli. I have a few very close friends. She speaks good Spanish, but only a little Russian. A lot or lots of. We use a lot of or lots of with both countable and uncountable nouns. There's a lot of butter. I've got lots of friends. We can use a lot of and lots of in questions and negatives. Are there lots of tourists in your country? There isn't a lot of butter, but there's enough. Here are some more examples. We eat a lot of prawns. She doesn't eat lots of sweets. They eat a lot of raw food. Has he got lots of money? Articles. A. An. And the. Articles with countable and uncountable nouns. We use the indefinite article a or an with singular countable nouns. The article refers to a thing or an idea for the first time. We have a cat and a dog. There's a supermarket in Adam Street. We use the definite article the with singular and plural countable and uncountable nouns. We use the when both the speaker and the listener know the thing or idea already. We have a cat and a dog. The cat is old, but the dog is just a puppy. Here are some more examples. My grandfather had a fish and chip shop. It was in an old village near a big industrial town. People came to the village by bus to get them. He had a son and a daughter. The daughter is my mother. Indefinite article. We use the indefinite article. With professions, I'm a teacher. She's an architect. With some expressions of quantity, a pair of, a little, a couple of, a few. With some expressions of frequency, once a week, three times a day. In exclamations with "what" and a countable noun. What a lovely day! What a pity! Here are some more examples. My grandfather was a shopkeeper. He closed the shop once a week. I bought a pair of jeans last week. Definite article. We use the definite article before seas, rivers, hotels, pubs, theatres, museums, and newspapers. The Atlantic, the British Museum, the Times, the Ritz. If there is only one of something. The sun. The queen. The government. With superlative adjectives. 
He's the richest man in the world. Jane's the oldest in the class. Here are some more examples. Fish and chips was the most popular dish in the country. My grandfather made the best fish and chips in the area. We stayed at the Grand Hotel. I do all my shopping on the internet. No article. There is no article before plural and uncountable nouns when talking about things in general. I like potatoes. Milk is good for you. Before countries, towns, streets, languages, magazines, meals, airports, stations and mountains. I had lunch with John. I bought Cosmopolitan at Victoria Station. Before some places and with some forms of transport. At home. In or to bed. At or to work. At or to school. By bus. By plane. By car. By train. On foot. In exclamations with what and an uncountable noun. What beautiful weather. What loud music. Personal guide. Imagine how much money you'd have in your bank account today. How much more money, I should say. Personal guide. Imagine how much money you'd have in your bank account today. How much more money, I should say. No. Why not see how many people you can rescue from oblivion? No. Why not see how many people you can rescue from oblivion? I'd like some solar shingles. I'd like some solar shingles. If you want to do the readings, we're going to use the reading, so I didn't buy any books. You saved money. If you want to do the readings, we're going to use the reading, so I didn't buy any books. You saved money. Very good at like hungry dogs, you know, going, <gasps> can I have some of that? Very good at like hungry dogs, you know, going, <gasps> can I have some of that? If they're an expert, is there any evidence if you trained it on a 19 by 19 board that it would then be able to transfer what it learned? If they're an expert, is there any evidence if you trained it on a 19 by 19 board that it would then be able to transfer what it learned? Including the there are a few mass vestments reserved only for the Pope. Including the including the there are a few mass vestments reserved only for the Pope. Including the David Didmer for you. Hey, I only have a, a little bit of time today, and I want to honor your time. David Didmer for you. Hey, I only have a, a little bit of time today, and I want to honor your time. Verb patterns, future forms. Verb patterns. Here are four verb patterns. Verb plus two plus the infinitive. They want to buy a new car. I'd like to go abroad. Verb plus the ing form. We love going to parties. I enjoy traveling abroad. Verb plus the ing form or to plus the infinitive with no change in meaning. It started to rain. It started raining. I continued to work. I continued working. Verb plus preposition plus the ing form. We're thinking of moving house. I'm looking forward to having more free time. Here are some more examples. I'd like to leave now and get a job. I'm thinking of applying for another job. I like working in New York. 
like doing and would like to do. Like doing and love doing express a general enjoyment. I like working as a teacher. I love dancing. Would like to do and would love to do express a preference now or at a specific time. I'd like to be a teacher. Thanks. I'd love to dance. Question and short answer. Would you like to dance? Yes, I would. Or? Yes, I'd love to. Would you like to come for a walk? Yes, I would. Or? No, thank you. Here are some more examples. Do you like learning English? I enjoy looking after the kids, but I'd love to travel. I'd love to work there for a couple of years. Future forms. Will. Form. We use will or won't plus the infinitive without to. The form is the same for all persons. Positive and negative. I'll come. She'll come. We'll come. He won't help you. They won't help you. Question. What time will he, you, they be back? Short answer. Will you help me? Yes, I will. Note that no I won't is impolite. A polite way of saying no is I'm afraid I can't. Will you give me a lift? Sorry, I'm afraid I can't. Use. We use will to express a future intention made at the moment of speaking. I'll give you my phone number. I'll call or text you. To express an offer. I'll carry your suitcase. We'll do the washing up. To express a future fact. I'll be 30 next week. It will be a nice day tomorrow. Here are some more examples. Maybe I'll celebrate at home with a few friends. I'll give you a ring later. I think I'll watch a DVD. I think you'll pass your driving test. Going to Form We use am, is or are in the positive or negative plus going to plus the infinitive. Positive and negative. I'm going to leave. I'm not going to leave. He's going to leave. She isn't going to leave. We're going to leave. They aren't going to leave. Question. When am I going to arrive? When is he going to arrive? When are they going to arrive? Short answer. Are they going to get married? Yes, they are. Or? No, they aren't. Use. We use going to to express a future decision, intention or plan made before the moment of speaking. How long are they going to stay in Rome? 
She isn't going to have a birthday party. When we can see or feel now that something is certain to happen in the future. Look at these clouds. It's going to rain. Watch out. You're going to drop that vase. Here are some more examples. I'm going to invite all my friends. I'm going to study hard for my exams. I'm going to make spaghetti bolognese for supper. Will or going to. Look at the use of will and going to in these sentences. I'm going to make a chicken casserole for dinner. What can I cook for dinner? Uh, I know. I'll make a chicken casserole. Here are some more examples. Have you decided which university to apply for? Yes, I'm going to apply for Oxford. Tony's back from holiday. Is he? I'll give him a ring. Present continuous. We use the present continuous for the future to express a planned future arrangement. I'm meeting my cousin for lunch. We're having a party. Can you come? With the verbs come and go. She's coming on Friday. I'm going home early tonight. Here are some more examples. Are you doing anything interesting this weekend? I'm meeting my brother for a drink. I'm working late this evening. Boost with their bags. They want to buy their carpet and get back onto their boat safely. Boost with their bags. They want to buy their carpet and get back onto their boat safely. I'm more dumb now. In some cities, uh, if they want to buy a car, I'm more dumb now. In some cities, uh, if they want to buy a car. We love going out on the trails just because it's new experiences and it's out in the open. We love going out on the trails just because it's new experiences and it's out in the open. And then the week of our tour, it started to rain. And then the week of our tour, it started to rain. We're maybe thinking of moving it to um, a minimal style. We're maybe thinking of moving it to um, a minimal style. I like working with blue because I consider it almost a neutral color. I feel like it's really regal, classic, and can fit in almost any space. I like working with blue because I consider it almost a neutral color. I feel like it's really regal, classic, and can fit in almost any space. I think I'd like to be a chemist. I think I'd like to be a chemist. Example. How would you like to see a very early relative of some of Earth's bugs? Example. How would you like to see a very early relative of some of Earth's bugs? I'm winning this, and I'll celebrate victory with fistfuls of french fries salted by my girlfriend's crocodile. I'm winning this, and I'll celebrate victory with fistfuls of french fries salted by my girlfriend's crocodile. And I won't tell you what happened there. That's and I won't tell you what happened there. That so, I wrote this letter, and I was like, will you tell me how to design my life? So, I wrote this letter, and I was like, will you tell me how to design my life? Shirts. Actually, French scientist is like, I'm going to study this. Shirts. Actually, French scientist is like, I'm going to study this. Marvelous. Take Sunday, and I'm not going to study on Sunday. Marvelous. Take Sunday, and I'm not going to study on Sunday. There's the debate over, are you going to study a culture and be an impartial? There's the debate over, are you going to study a culture and be an impartial? What? Like. Comparative and superlative adjectives. What? Like. Form. We use what plus to be plus subject plus like. We don't use like in the answer. What are your parents like? They're very kind. What was your holiday like? Wonderful. 
What were the beaches like? Okay, but some were dirty. Like in this question is a preposition, not a verb. What's Jim like? He's intelligent and kind. In these sentences, like is a verb. What does Jim like? He likes motorbikes and playing tennis. Use. What, like, means describe somebody or something. What's your teacher like? She's very patient. How's your mother? Asks about health. How's your mother? She's very well, thank you. Here are some more examples. What's Shanghai like? It's very big and noisy. What's the weather like today? It's warm and sunny. How are your parents? They're okay. Comparative and superlative adjectives. Form. Short adjectives. Cheap. Cheaper. Cheapest. Small. Smaller. Smallest. Adjectives that end in y. Funny. Funnier. Funniest. Early. Earlier. Earliest. Adjectives with two syllables or more. Careful. More careful. Most careful. Expensive. More expensive. Most expensive. Irregular adjectives. Far. Further. Furthest. Good. Better. Best. Bad. Worse. Worst. For short adjectives with one vowel and one consonant, we double the consonant. Hot. Hotter. Hottest. Big. Bigger. Biggest. Than, much, and the. We use than with comparative adjectives. I'm younger than Barbara. Barbara is more intelligent than Sarah. We can use much before the comparative to give emphasis. She's much nicer than her sister. Is Tokyo much more modern than London? We use the before superlative adjectives. He's the funniest boy in the class. Which is the tallest building in the world? Use. We use comparatives to compare one thing, person, or action with another. She's taller than me. London's more expensive than Rome. We use superlatives to compare somebody or something with the whole group. She's the tallest in the class. It's the most expensive hotel in the world. Here are some more examples. Singapore is older than Shanghai. Shanghai is more modern than Singapore. Dubai is the hottest place. Shanghai is the busiest. 
and the most exciting. As, as, or not as, as. We use as, as to show that something is the same or equal. Jim's as tall as Peter. I'm as worried as you are. We use not as, as, to show that something isn't the same or equal. She isn't as tall as her mother. He isn't as clever as me. Here are some more examples. Shanghai isn't as hot as Dubai. Shanghai isn't as cosmopolitan as Singapore. You both? Yeah. Talk about that. What are your parents like? Um, my parents are definitely dreamers. You both? Yeah. Talk about that. What are your parents like? Um, my parents are definitely dreamers. What's the weather like in this world? What's the weather like in this world? And it's older than our son. And it's older than our son. The W220 model is more modern than other 15-year-old cars. The W220 model is more modern than other 15-year-old cars. You see, when the weather is warm, a conventional roof is the hottest place in the building. You see, when the weather is warm, a conventional roof is the hottest place in the building. Typically, a Saturday is the busiest day for restaurants. Typically, a Saturday is the busiest day for restaurants. It isn't as hot as you expect. Only 327.5 degrees centigrade. It isn't as hot as you expect. Only 327.5 degrees centigrade. Right here isn't as big as the last generation supercharged V8. Right here isn't as big as the last generation supercharged V8. Present perfect. Present perfect and past simple. Time expressions. Present perfect. Form. We form the present perfect with has or have in the positive or negative and the past participle. Positive and negative. I've won a competition. You haven't won a competition. He's won a competition. She hasn't won a competition. Question. Have you been to the United States? Has he been to the United States? Short answer. Have you ever been to Vegas? Yes, I have. Or? No, I haven't. Has she ever written a novel? Yes, she has. Or? No, she hasn't. Use. The present perfect expresses an action or state which began in the past and continues to the present. I've known John for six years. How long have you worked for the London Gazette? We often use for or since with this use. We use for with a period of time and since with a point in time. We've lived here for three years. They've lived here since 2010. Here are some more examples. I've worked for the London Gazette since 2010. We've been married for two years. I've had my motorbike since I was 25. The present perfect connects the present and the past. It expresses experiences in life before now. I've met a lot of famous people. She has won a lot of awards. The action can continue to the present 
and probably into the future. He's made six TV programs. Ever and never are common with this use. Have you ever been to Africa? I've never played poker. Here are some more examples. What countries have you been to? I've never been to South America. I've made some very important discoveries. Have you ever been in danger? The present perfect expresses a past action with results in the present. It is often a recent past action. I've lost my wallet. The taxi's arrived. The adverbs just, already and yet are common with this use. We use yet in questions and negatives. She's just had some good news. I've already had breakfast. Has the postman been yet? It's 11 o'clock and she hasn't got up yet. Present perfect and past simple. Compare the use of the past simple and the present perfect in these sentences. I lived in Paris for two years, from 2007 to 2009. I've lived in London since 2009. I've been to Scotland. I went with my husband two years ago. Here are some more examples. Have you ever flown in a helicopter? Yes, I have. Where did you fly? I flew over New York. Oh dear, I've broken my glasses. What happened? I dropped them. Time expressions. These are common time expressions with the past simple and the present perfect. Last week. Yesterday. The day before yesterday. In 1999. On July the 21st. Three months ago. For two weeks. Present perfect. Since Monday. Ever. Never. Just. Already. Yet. For two weeks. Here are some more examples. I've been to a lot of countries in Africa and Asia. My family moved to England when I was six. What's the most dangerous situation you've ever been in? I was in a very bad car crash in Cairo. I've done all sorts of things. After university, I didn't have any money. I worked in a restaurant. Question. We've worked with uh, Israel long and hard for many years, many decades. Question. We've worked with uh, Israel long and hard for many years, many decades. Now, what, imagine you're comfortable with computers. You've been using them for, you know, drawing and, and chats and all kinds of social things. Now, what, imagine you're comfortable with computers. You've been using them for, you know, drawing and, and chats and all kinds of social things. Before, I've never been this hungover at work. Before, I've never been this hungover at work. Have you ever been in a relationship like this? Comment below saying, yes, a little too social. Have you ever been in a relationship like this? Comment below saying, yes, a little too social. So here's how I, I've broken down the problem. The first problem is I decided if you want to grow a grape that expresses terroir, 
So here's how I, I've broken down the problem. The first problem is I decided if you want to grow a grape that expresses terroir, and, uh, and that pledge I haven't broken. That commitment, that promise continues to be, uh, continues to hold. And, uh, and that pledge I haven't broken. That commitment, that promise continues to be, uh, continues to hold. Have to. Modal auxiliary verbs. Should. Must. Have to. Form. We use has or have in the positive or negative plus to plus the infinitive. Positive and negative. I have to work hard. They don't have to work hard. He has to work hard. She doesn't have to work hard. Question. Do you have to work hard? Does he have to work hard? Short answer. Do you have to wear a uniform? Yes, I do. Does he have to go now? No, he doesn't. Past. The past of have to is had to, with did and didn't in the question and negative. I had to get up early this morning. I didn't have to do any housework when I was a child. Use. Have to expresses strong obligation. The obligation comes from outside, perhaps a law, a rule, or someone in authority. You have to pass a driving test if you want to drive a car. I have to start work at 8 o'clock. Don't and doesn't have to expresses absence of obligation. She doesn't have to work on Monday. It's her day off. Have got to is more informal. It usually expresses an obligation on one particular occasion. Look at the time. I've got to go. Here are some more examples. Sometimes I have to work at the hospital at the weekend. I don't have to train every day. Does she have to work at weekends? I had to climb very early in the morning. He didn't have to climb with me. Why did you have to work last weekend? I've got to get up early tomorrow. Introduction to Modal Auxiliary Verbs Form These are Modal Auxiliary Verbs Can Could Must Shall Should Will. Would. Modal verbs go with another verb and add meaning. He can play the guitar. I must wash my hair. There is no S in the third person singular. The form is the same for all persons. She can dance very well. He should try harder. Here are some more examples. He must get professional help. You should show him this letter. You must decide your own future. There is no do or does in the question. Can she sing? Shall we go now? There is no don't or doesn't in the negative. 
I wouldn't like to be a teacher. They can't speak French. It won't rain tomorrow. Note that won't is short for will not. Most modal verbs refer to the present and future. Only can has a past tense form, could. I could swim when I was three. Here are some more examples. You shouldn't suffer alone. You shouldn't worry about this. I can't sleep at night. How can I control my nerves? Should. Form. We use should or shouldn't plus the infinitive without to. The form is the same for all persons. Positive and negative. I should do more exercise. They should do more exercise. You shouldn't tell lies. She shouldn't tell lies. Question. Should I see a doctor? Should she see a doctor? Short answer. Should I phone home? Yes, you should. Or? No, you shouldn't. Use. We use should to express what we think is the best thing to do. It expresses mild obligation or advice. I should do more work. You should do more work. Shouldn't expresses negative advice. You shouldn't sit so close to the TV. Should expresses the opinion of the speaker. We often use I think or I don't think before should. I think politicians should listen more. I don't think people should get married until they're 21. Here are some more examples. You should explain how you feel. You shouldn't feel jealous of your brother. What should I do? I don't think you should listen to just your friends. Must. Form. We use must or mustn't plus the infinitive without to. The form is the same for all persons. Positive and negative. I must try harder. She must try harder. You mustn't steal. He mustn't steal. Question. Questions with must are possible, but have to is more common. What time do we have to leave? Use. Must expresses strong obligation. Generally, this obligation comes from inside the speaker. I must have a shower. We must get a new car. You must can express a strong suggestion. You must see the Monet exhibition. It's wonderful. Here are some more examples. You must prepare well and practice a lot. He must change his ways. You mustn't break your promise. Thank you. If you like the video, subscribe to this channel to create more content and keep on practicing your English. See you next time.
because I just never really thought that what I had to say even was important to be heard because I just never really thought that what I had to say even was important to be heard. And all of a sudden, I didn't have to be the expert anymore. And all of a sudden, I didn't have to be the expert anymore. Or worry about number one, they have to work together. And they do work together. They work together in climate change, for example. Or worry about number one, they have to work together. And they do work together. They work together in climate change, for example. Accept them. We don't have to train them on this sort of thing. We have a lot of sensors that are, and actuators that are available to accept them. We don't have to train them on this sort of thing. We have a lot of sensors that are, and actuators that are available to us. Right. I want to hear from you. What did you learn in this video? Or what do you have to add? Right. I want to hear from you. What did you learn in this video? Or what do you have to add? He, he's getting to that age where he actually interacts, mm -hmm. right? And he can play really well. He, he's getting to that age where he actually interacts, mm -hmm. right? And he can play really well. Employees must wash hands before returning to work. <laughs> Employees must wash hands before returning to work. A friend told him he should try TikTok. He said he tries to break down his process simply, without jargon, to help people understand. A friend told him he should try TikTok. He said he tries to break down his process simply, without jargon, to help people understand. You shouldn't have to wait weeks. You should get those services the very same day. And Congress... You shouldn't have to wait weeks. You should get those services the very same day. And Congress playing tricks on you. He said, at night I can't sleep. I don't want to sell these drugs. I'm in church, Lord. I'm looking for an answer and stuff like that. Playing tricks on you. He said, at night I can't sleep. I don't want to sell these drugs. I'm in church, Lord. I'm looking for an answer and stuff like that. You're sitting there and he just, what you know, because I figure you must know a lot about money if you can afford a full page app. You're sitting there and he just, what you know, because I figure you must know a lot about money if you can afford a full page app. I can see that, but you mustn't fall in love with me. I beg you. I swear. I can see that, but you mustn't fall in love with me. I beg you. I swear. Past perfect. Conjunctions. So, such, a, so many, so much. Past perfect. Form. We form the past perfect with had in the positive or negative and the past participle. See the list of irregular past participles on page 158 in your student's book. Positive and negative. I derived. She'd arrived. You hadn't arrived. They hadn't arrived. Question. Had he left already? Had you left already? Short answer. Had you seen the film already? Yes, I had. Had they been there before? No, they hadn't. Here are some more examples. They were hungry because they hadn't eaten all day. After the bear had gone, the other man came down from his tree. Use. We use the past perfect to express an action in the past which happened before another action in the past. When I arrived at the theatre, the play had already started. We use the past simple to express actions in the order they happened. Look at these actions in the past simple. John left the party. I arrived. They walked a long way. They were tired. Notice how the actions are expressed using the past perfect. When I arrived at the party, John had left. They were tired because they'd walked a long way. If it is clear that one action was completed before, it isn't necessary to use the past perfect. I tidied up after everyone went, or had gone home.
conjunctions. We use conjunctions to join sentences. These are conjunctions of time. When, while, as soon as, before, after, until, as. They can go in two places in the sentence. When I arrived home, Tom was cooking the meal. Tom was talking to me while he was cooking the meal. So is a conjunction of result, and because is a conjunction of reason. He was bored, so he went for a walk. He went for a walk because he was bored. But and although join contrasting ideas. It was raining, but we played tennis. Although it was raining, we played tennis. Here are some more examples. While he was sitting under a tree. He had an idea. As soon as the villagers heard the boy, they stopped work. They were angry because the shepherd boy had lied again. No one believed the boy, so he climbed back up the hill. Although the villagers heard his cries, they did nothing to help. So, such, so many, so much. Form. We use so plus adjective or adverb. I was so scared. He always drives so fast. Such a plus adjective plus singular noun. She's such a nice person. It was such a shock. Such plus adjective plus plural or uncountable noun. The Smiths are such friendly neighbors. We had such terrible weather. So many plus plural noun. Some children have so many toys. There were so many problems. So much plus uncountable noun. Footballers earn so much money these days. I've got so much work. Use. We use so and such for emphasizing an adjective or noun. They are often exclamations with an exclamation mark. Thank you. If you like the video, subscribe to this channel to create more content and keep on practicing your English. See you next time. I hadn't eaten any meat at all, and they were all there at barbecue places. You know, I hadn't eaten any meat at all, and they were all there at barbecue places. You know, seven oh eight, and by seven minutes, I had gone into these awful convulsions. Seven oh eight, and by seven minutes, I had gone into these awful convulsions. Miniature. They'd walked hand in hand through a horticultural nursery to pick out plant. Miniature. They'd walked hand in hand through a horticultural nursery to pick out plant. Hello, she's such a gem. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you so much. Bye. Hello, she's such a gem. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you so much. Bye. And like so many around him, a drug-addled and absent father. And like so many around him. A drug-addled and absent father. Nation do so much stuff. It still thinks that a stick is a snake. Nation do so much stuff. It still thinks that a stick is a snake. The passive voice. The passive. 
form. We use be and a past participle to form the passive. Present. Am, is or are and the past participle. Past. Was or were and the past participle. Present perfect. Has or have been and the past participle. Will. Will be and the past participle. Present. English is spoken all over the world. 100 million mobile phones are thrown away every year. Past. The first text message was sent in 1989. They weren't injured in the accident. Present perfect. A lot of new features have been added. We haven't been invited to the wedding. Will. 100,000 cars will be produced next year. The cars won't be sold in the UK. Question and short answer. Are cars made in your country? Yes, they are. Or? No, they aren't. Has my car been repaired? Yes, it has. Or? No, it hasn't. Will landlines be replaced by mobiles? Yes, they will. Or? No, they won't. Passive infinitive. We use to be and past participle after modal auxiliary verbs and other verbs which are followed by the infinitive. Driving should be banned in city centres. The house is going to be knocked down. Use. The rules for tense usage in the passive are the same as in the active. We use the present simple to express a habit. My car is serviced regularly. We use the past simple to express a finished action in the past. America was discovered by Christopher Columbus. We use the present perfect to express an action which began in the past and continues to the present. Smartphones have been sold since 2007. Here are some more examples. 30 million mobile phones are sold every year. The first text message wasn't sent until the 21st century. Camera phones have been sold since 2002. The object of an active verb becomes the subject of a passive verb. Active. Shakespeare wrote Hamlet. Passive. Hamlet was written by Shakespeare. Notice the use of by in passive sentences. Hamlet was written by Shakespeare. The first mobile phone call was made by Martin Cooper. We use by if the subject of an active sentence is important. We don't mention the subject if it isn't important. Active. People speak German in parts of Italy. Passive. German is spoken in parts of Italy. We choose the active or the passive depending on what we are more interested in. Hamlet was written in 1600. Shakespeare wrote Hamlet in 1600. 
Here are some more examples. Today, mobile phones are owned by almost 6 billion people. Last year, 6.1 trillion texts were sent worldwide. Some people believe that landline telephones will be replaced by mobile phones. Here, phones are sold in small local shops where brands have little to no control. Here, phones are sold in small local shops where brands have little to no control. Well, I got very few people that I knew. Um, well, I wasn't sent a lot of cards or flowers. I mean, if I had had a broken leg or I was with a child, I would have been inundated. Well, I got very few people that I knew. Um, well, I wasn't sent a lot of cards or flowers. I mean, if I had had a broken leg or I was with a child, I would have been inundated. Box billion copies have been sold, with official versions in over half of the world's countries. Box billion copies have been sold, with official versions in over half of the world's countries. Present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Form. We form the present perfect continuous with has or have in the positive or negative, plus been plus the ing form of the verb. Positive and negative. I've been working. They haven't been working. He's been working. She hasn't been working. Question. How long have you been working? How long has he been working? Short answer. Have you been running? Yes, I have. Or? No, I haven't. Use. We use the present perfect continuous to express an activity which began in the past and continues in the present. He's been teaching music for years. It's been raining for days. To refer to an activity with a result in the present. I'm hot because I've been running. I haven't got any money because I've been shopping. Here are some more examples. How long has he been living in London? He's been making programs since 2007. Alice has been looking for a new job for ages. He's got a sore throat because he's been singing too much. He's got backache because he's been digging the garden. Present perfect simple or continuous. Sometimes, there is little or no difference in meaning between the present perfect simple and continuous. How long have you worked here? How long have you been working here? Some verbs have the idea of a long time. We use them in the present perfect continuous. Wait. Work. Learn. Travel. Play. I've been waiting for hours. Some verbs don't have the idea of a long time. It is unusual to find them in the present perfect continuous. Find. Start. Buy. Die. Lose. Break. Stop. I've bought a new dress. For verbs that express a state, we don't use the present perfect continuous. Like, love, know, have. We've known each other for a few weeks. If the sentence gives a number or quantity, we use the present perfect simple. I've been writing emails all morning. I've written 20.
Is he still alive? Has he been living on the remains of the Death Star all by himself? Is he still alive? Has he been living on the remains of the Death Star all by himself? We're going to need innovations. And so our group has been looking at social media as that innova innovation so that we can reach out and reach people. We're going to need innovations. And so our group has been looking at social media as that innova innovation so that we can reach out and reach people. The truth is he's been singing those same songs for years, okay? The truth is he's been singing those same songs for years, okay? Lives and if she works hard and stays disciplined, she'll be able to do that over time. Well, not necessarily. He lives and if she works hard and stays disciplined, she'll be able to do that over time. Well, not necessarily. Uh, a lot of people, if they have money in music, they will just continue investing in that. Uh, a lot of people, if they have money in music, they will just continue investing in that first conditional might second conditional first conditional form we form the first conditional with if plus present simple and will plus the infinitive without two positive and negative if i work hard i'll pass my exams if we don't hurry up, we'll be late. If you're late, I won't wait for you. Question. What will you do if you don't go to university? Short answer. Will you go to university if you pass your exams? Yes, I will. Or? No, I won't. Notes. English uses a present tense in the condition clause, not a future form. If it rains, I'll stay at home. If I work hard, I'll pass my exams. The condition clause, starting with if, can come at the beginning of the sentence or the end. Notice the use of the comma. If I work hard, I'll pass my exams. I'll pass my exams if I work hard. Use. We use the first conditional to express a possible condition and a probable result in the future. If it's sunny, we'll go for a picnic. You'll get wet if you don't take an umbrella. If expresses a possibility that something will happen. When expresses what the speaker sees as certain to happen. When I get home, I'll have a shower. Here are some more examples. If I see Pete, I'll tell him I saw you. I'll come and see you if I have time. We won't go out if it rains. If I do well at university, I'll get a good job. Might. Form. We use might or might not plus the infinitive without two. The form is the same for all persons. Positive and negative. I might go to the party. He might be late. It might not rain tomorrow. We might not go out for a meal tonight. We often express the negative with I don't think plus will. I don't think it will rain tomorrow. Question. We usually ask questions with do you think plus will. Do you think it'll rain? Short answer. Do you think it'll rain? It might. Use. We use might to express a future possibility. It means will perhaps. 
Compare will and might. England will win the match. England might win the match. Here are some more examples. We might go to the park. I might see you later. I'm not sure. I might go out, or I might stay at home. Second conditional. Form. We formed the second conditional with if plus past simple, and would plus the infinitive without to. The form of would is the same for all persons. Positive and negative. If I had more money, I'd buy a new computer. If I didn't like you, I wouldn't talk to you. Question. What would you do if you had a year off? Short answer. Would you travel round the world? Yes, I would. Or? No, I wouldn't. Notes. As with the first conditional, the condition clause can come at the beginning or end of the sentence. If I had more time, I'd help. I'd help if I had more time. We often use were instead of was in the condition clause. If I were you, I'd go to bed. If he were taller, he'd be a policeman. The use of the past tense "if I had" and "would" does not refer to past time. It expresses distance from reality. If I had, I would. Use. We use the second conditional to express an unreal or improbable condition and its result. If I were the president, I'd stop all war. We often use the phrase "If I were you, I'd" to give advice. If I were you, I'd call the doctor. First and second conditional. The first conditional is possible and probable. The second conditional is improbable and sometimes impossible. If I win the tennis match, I'll be so happy. If I won the tennis match, I'd be so happy. Here are some more examples. If I had a baby brother. I would play with him. If I played really well, I'd be the captain of the rugby team. If I had a free weekend, I'd stay in bed all day. If I were you, I'd stop smoking. But if I had done that, if I had given up writing, I would have lost my beloved vocabulary. But if I had done that, if I had given up writing, I would have lost my beloved vocation. If I were you, Miss Diane, I would focus on building your business. If I were you, Miss Diane, I would focus on building your business. What the hell would you mind if I if I played with the scene? What the hell would you mind if I if I played with the scene? Thank you for watching this video. Keep on practicing your English. See you next time.